In your Storm Team 2 forecast, we have some important headlines to talk about. I mentioned these earlier just briefly, but on Easter, we are tracking mostly cloudy conditions, a chance for some showers, and even the risk for some thunderstorms. But the Easter Bunny is going to bring us a high temperature around 65 degrees. Those thunderstorms look to happen late in the day. Actually, it looks to be early Monday morning. That risk on our severe weather outlook is going to be that marginal risk. The level one out of five for severe weather in the Miami Valley. The greatest risk for severe weather is going to be across the southeast. And then after the storms pass, we will still be dealing with some high winds. There is a high wind watch in place for Monday, in particular Monday morning. It looks like we could see wind gusts around 55 to 60 miles per hour. Here's a breakdown for you. The winds will be breezy at times. Even tonight, we'll see 20 mile per hour wind gusts there. Looking ahead to Sunday, now Sunday evening, when those storms are starting to approach, we'll see some strong south southeast winds there anywhere from 20 to 30 miles per hour and then overnight this is when our strongest wind gusts will come through early Monday morning so this is going to be 9 a.m. on Monday notice 42 mile per hour wind gusts possible through Muncie 46 there in Cincinnati so this is a model outlook of what we could be dealing with but then the good news is the winds do start to calm down a bit as we look ahead to Monday night on our choice data center camera some sunshine before we saw the sun set cloudy skies are starting to come back into the Miami Valley and we are starting to track some rain moving through. We're dry right now, but as we take a look further to the west, there are some thunderstorms that have developed across Illinois and into Indiana. They're near Bloomington, Indianapolis. It's still dry right now, but they're going to start to see some storms. These are pushing mostly to the east, so we'll start to see some of those showers and thunderstorms tonight. Now the big weather system is right here. This low pressure system It's going to track to the north and northeast tomorrow, and that's and we start to see our chance for severe weather. So there's those showers sneaking through tonight uh, around midnight. Soon we'll see most of that activity. Then as we head into Sunday morning, we'll see a few showers here or there, most likely just a few off and on showers during the day on Easter Sunday. And then we see our big wave of energy coming through with some heavy rainfall, likely going to stay just south of the Miami Valley and just off to our east there. And then as we head into Monday morning, this is when that low pressure system moves through Indiana and we start to see our chance for severe weather sneaking through early Monday. This is going to be 8 a.m. still dealing with some thunderstorms, but by lunchtime those storms will clear out. But look at those lines. These are lines of constant pressure. That's going to signal those strong winds. Uh, look at rainfall potential. We could see anywhere from a tenth of an inch all the way to an inch of rain, especially closer to Cincinnati. Right now on our Bryant Heating and Cooling Systems camera, it's 53 degrees. We are warmer than the same time yesterday. We won't be dealing with a freeze tonight. We're looking at a current temperature around 52 degrees. Tonight's low will be 47 degrees in Dayton. Looking at our highs tomorrow will be around 65 degrees in Dayton. And in your hour by hour forecast, notice those temperatures in the 60s tomorrow, but often on rain showers during the day. And a look at our storm team to seven day. It gets much, much colder as we head into next week. 40s for highs Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And yes, even a chance for some snow on Wednesday.